how many sides to a coin are there? Yes, this is a trick question. That's why I put coins on your table. There you go. Common answer is two, heads and tails. Three, if you're thinking of depth. But if you look closely at the coins, there is detail. And every one of those sides represents an element of your company's culture, including an employee. If you would like to take the time and count them, by all means, go ahead. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> to give you an idea, a culture is not something that is done easily. We're creating an outline, the beginning of the process of how you go through and change your company culture to create a culture of customer service. Let me tell you a story about a company that I worked with on the East Coast, Capizzi Home Improvement. Tom is the owner, and Tom wanted to have more freedom. He also wanted to give his customers a reason, a positive reason, to talk about his business. He had a knack for attracting the customers that had a horrible experience with another construction company. So almost every customer he attracted ended up starting off the conversation going, just please do not give me the home improvement runaround. No matter what you do, just don't do that. Well, hello, light bulb went off in his head and he got an idea. He created a culture around that concept. You won't get the home improvement runaround at Capizzi Home Improvement. He built his culture around that and it became his company tagline. He had to change business processes. He had to do a lot of employee training, but he was able to do it. And now, if you talk to any one of his employees, they don't know that it's anything different. To them, it's just the way we do things. Because when you have a culture like Capizzi Home Improvement, like Nordstrom's, PCC, Apple, these companies that we were talking about, to them, it's everyday life. That is the difference between a culture of customer service and advertising good customer service. Back to Tom's employees for a second. They are so well trained and so well in, ingrained in that culture that if a customer so much as says something about the home improvement runaround, sirens go off and everything comes to a screeching halt. They know to make it right. Now if you look back at your diagram, you'll notice that the top of the triangle does not have a word. The filter between the business processes and the customer experience is your employees. How your employees experience being a customer and being an employee will filter how the customer experiences working with your company. I tell my customers all the time, your customers like doing business with you as much as your employees like working for you. Because they're the filter and it's their perception. You can have all the business processes in the world. They only tell your employees how to do tasks. They create accountability, yes, and they document growth and success and progress. But they can't tell your, emo tell your employees how to feel. They can't control emotion. So the third element in the culture of customer service is your employees. Bring your employees into the process creation, to the business development. They are the ones that create the customer experience every day.